angry guy here, and black women are rushing to find rich men to save them from destitution. I'm, I'm going to play the intro. Just, just wait for it. So black women are rushing to find rich men to save them from destiny, destitution. I I was actually going to say destiny, but I mean, they, they could, yeah, destiny is also a guy that they would want to be saved from. But yeah, anyway, we are going to jump right into the video. Keep in mind, some of it might be a little satirical, but I figured we could still learn something from it anyway. Sorry, class, I've been away for a minute. And no, I was not grocery shopping for that long. I have been wealthy husband shopping. Yes, you heard that correctly. After being bamboozled into moving to the South to go be with someone who I thought was a man of God, someone who wouldn't deceive me, I have to do what I have to do. I have no choice. It's not up to me. It's destiny. I have to, unfortunately marry a very, very irritating wealthy man. I got a flip phone. It's not functional. It says October 4th, 1010 AM on it. I'm practicing yelling. Watch this. Where's my money, Steven? What's not clicking, Steven? Send my money today. So I got the usual groceries. My favorite thing, pineapple juice, some bananas, you know, the usual stuff, but there's something missing. Ah, the stuff that actually tastes good. I did not get any of the usual sweet, decadent, sugary things from Whole Foods that I would get. I am trying a paleo diet for exactly 24 hours. Do I know what that means? No, paleo diet. That sounds like something a bronchiosaurus would eat. So I thought, what would a bronchiosaurus eat? Probably vegetables. So, I got a bunch of uh, baby spinach, baby kale. All of this is really because there's this running joke on TikTok that really wealthy men love a slim black woman with what class? A bad wig. No, they don't sell wigs at Whole Foods. I actually went and got this on Amazon, but I picked up my packages downstairs and I unboxed this one as I was walking up. I got some eggs and I have that in the morning and some dino kale, or is it dino kale? It goes with the whole paleo thing, dino, dinosaur, whatever. So let's get my little morning or late lunch started. Operation Billionaire. Let's go. And Ayurvedic herbs with a fraction of Valley, Idaho. Luxury vacation at the lodge. Rich, herbal, natural. This is 100% organic. I'll burn myself. This is not a good idea. Don't try this at home. I like to add a little bit of hot water to my rice cacao. This is also what I'm going to add. This is coconut milk. Received this frother. Look how cute. Much appreciated. Mm. And I like this a lot. I honestly do. Because I'm getting a boost, but without the jitters are names that people, sounds like Venice Beach, say this. And I am on a very tough, just use the link in my description box. All the info is there. Have fun shopping at Mudwater. <sighs> Guess what just happened? I heard a thump by the door. And I thought, is that my billionaire from Dubai? No. So, I mean, guys, she's being satirical. She's being comical. She was dating a guy and basically she went through his phone and saw that he discovered how much money she was making as a YouTuber. And then she took off and now she's basically, you know, trying to do something completely different. Guys, I want you all to think about this. She's trying to, she's out here trying to live her soft girl life. She's trying to live her soft girl life and her best soft girl life. And now she's talking about going overseas and fighting a man in Dubai. And, and again, she's a joker. She's she's being comedic. But this is really what's actually happening. A lot of these modern day women are trying to live these soft lives, looking for billionaire husbands. All right. She wants a plan. She wants a plan A guy. All right. She wants a plan A guy. She wants that Saudi prince. All right. She wants that N NBA player. Even though many of those that she said billionaire, she said billionaire. So she's looking for she's looking for that Saudi prince. All right. 
she's looking for that Saudi prince that's at least 6'3", okay, because she has standards. And guys, this is, the, this is really what is going on in the modern day, all right? And it's amazing because a lot of these young ladies think that they're going to go over to the countries of these other men and they're going to bring those same attitudes. And, you know, here's how it works with these princes. They have all these women going over and the girls who behave, they get tickets back to the, back to the United States and Western countries. And the ones who don't, they don't get a ticket back. And that's, that's kind of how it is. And these women are literally more than happy to hop on planes and go over to these countries. I heard a story recently about a woman who was traveling over to Saudi Arabia and she was stopped by border patrol. And well, uh, she was stopped by, yeah, T she was stopped by the TSA and the TSA basically wanted to inquire why was she heading over to Saudi Arabia? And they basically turned her back because they thought that she was, you know, going over there to go and um, bring her, she was going over there for, you know, to go and have certain, you know, relationships with those guys over there. And they, and, and, and they basically said, no, I mean, guys, it, it's crazy. You know, it's absolutely crazy. Women t make it sound like the world around them is so dangerous. Don't forget the whole, uh, don't forget the whole our culture thing. America, the Western society is rife in our culture and women are living in danger and in fear and all this. Women have never been freer or safer than at any other period in history. It's the honest to this truth. And now look at these women. They are literally taking themselves out of their own countries and bringing themselves over to countries where they don't know anyone, okay? But just on the prospects of meeting a rich man who will give them easy, soft girl lives, they will do anything to get that. Kelly makes like somewhere between $100,000 and $250,000 a year because she reveals she was making around $15,000 a month. And then the ad revenue went down, but now she's getting quite a bit of money from the sponsorships that you just saw that I had to work hard to skip for you guys. And I mean, it's, it's crazy, but these black women are rushing to find rich men to save them from lives of destitution. Because, you know, like I said, they can't go backwards. Right now, her life's pretty good. She went over to Japan recently. She lives pretty good. She's doing pretty well. But, you know, it always has to be an upgrade. I think she was she was rated, rate, rate, rating. She was dating a mortgage broker or something like, some kind of broker, financial guy, someone working in the financial industry. This time around, I, I don't keep track. I, I, don't keep very good track of her boyfriends. That just tells you something, you know, about how quickly women change guys, like they change their panties. But anyway, that's a subject for another video. But yeah, I mean, it's like she was doing well, but you have to keep in mind, if she's dating this guy and he's making this amount of money, then, you know, and he has this much status, the next guy that she, the next guy that she dates has to always be better than the last, you know? And now, like I said, now, I mean, when she's talking about billionaire, you know, this is satirical. I'm assuming that a lot of this is satirical. satirical. You know, she's talked about possibly getting into comedy. But the truth is that, you know, she, she would have no problem with, the, with a billionaire. She'd have no problem with a billionaire. And she lets you know, you know, the Saudi princes, they're kind of cute. The Saudi princes are kind of cute. I want y'all to think about this. Because I've told you that this is what it really is for a lot of modern day women. You know, they want to live, they want to start that soft girl era. All right. They don't cook. They don't clean. Not for not for no man. All right. And they want to be taken care of. Every single aspect of their life must be taken care of because the real men give a woman everything that she wants and pampers her and doesn't make her do anything other than live in luxury for eternity. Guys, what do you think regarding this women living their soft girl lives? And by the way, if you're enjoying this content, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, never miss another video, video again, and like the video because it tells YouTube that you're enjoying my content and you want to see more of it, so they'll show you more of it. But I want to hear your thoughts on black women rushing to find rich men to save them from destitution so they can live these soft girl lives. I want to hear your thoughts on it right now. I'll put the, a link to the full video in the description. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Men walking away. And cheers.